I want you to try to picture an artist at work. What do you see? Maybe a painter standing in front of an easel, paintbrush in hand? Or maybe a, a sculptor chipping away at a block of marble to reveal a form within? You know, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, it says that you are God's masterpiece, God's work of art. And here's what's so interesting about that to me. The Bible doesn't compare us to a painting or a sculpture. The Bible says that God is like a potter, and we are like clay. In the book of Genesis, and in Isaiah, and again in the book of Romans, and in Corinthians, and in the letters of Paul to Timothy, Scripture tells us that God is at work in our lives in the same way that a potter works with clay. It says that we are all, every one of us, the work of God's hands. Now, what is it about potters and pottery and clay that helps us to understand what God is like? When you, when you picture it, when you see a potter sitting at a potter's wheel, you see how the potter sits down and settles into work, how close they are to the clay, and how involved they are in the process. God came down from heaven and went to work right there in the midst of us. And that process, that work, it's messy. Our, our lives are messy. And right there in the middle of that mess, God draws near. It, it's like this. I mean, imagine what that potter looks like when they've been working on the wheel for a while. Clay, it gets all over the place. But there's more. When I've been working with clay over time, my hands get saturated with water and tiny, tiny bits of that clay, they work themselves into the pores of my skin. Listen, in Isaiah 49 verse 15, the Lord says, I will not forget you. You are engraved, etched on the palms of my hands in a similar way, the clay becomes literally etched into the potter's skin. I believe that the more we know about clay and pottery making, the better we can picture what God is like, and the better we will become at recognizing God's work in our everyday lives. Clay has to be attached to the potter's wheel before the potter can work. That's a picture of commitment. Clay needs to be centered on the wheel, the, the heart of the clay lined up with the heart of that wheel. That's a picture of focus. That round, tight ball of clay, it needs to be opened up before it can be shaped. That shows how in the midst of our busy lives, we need to open up time and space, make room in our hearts to make room for the Lord. Now that clay will go through fire and it will emerge stronger than ever. That's endurance, that's, that's perseverance, that's hope. And even before the shaping process can begin, the potter has to go out and look for that clay in the first place. Clay is found in hillsides and it's buried deep in riverbeds. It's hard to find, but the potter doesn't give up. That's love. God seeks after us and then rejoices when we are found. God's work of art, God's masterpiece. God at work in the mess and uncertainty of our lives. And whether you can see it right now or not, that's okay. God is in the midst of us and he cares about everything that concerns us. God is at work, equipping us with new strength, with connection, commitment, perseverance with hope. Lord, it is true. Lord, give us eyes to see it.